if you have biologist written on, on the top of, on, on your forehead, min, most people think it means I can't program, it means I can't uh, you know, do electronics, it, mean, it means I can't do anything that's not biology. And I'm, you know, I'm trying to, to, get, to, to shake people out of that feeling. What we do here is we look at nature as a source of inspiration, pool of um, design principles as new and refreshing ideas on how to do things better. And we try to, to adopt these solutions into our technology. We're approaching science like designers to make better machines, better architectures, better ways of communicating between people. That's basically bio-inspired design. Nanotechnology is one of the things we're using molecules as building blocks to make nanoscale machines. We use a technique known as DNA origami to take a piece of DNA and fold it into the 3D structure that comprises the robot, the machine. There's always something scientific you can do with everything. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of Lego. We can make a Lego system, we can make a Lego set, but at the nanoscale. We can use DNA origami to make a Lego uh, set so that children can learn nanotechnology just like it's a sort of a Lego game. When I bought the Xbox, people in, you know, in purchasing and said, why do you need that? Why, are you gonna play all day? And I said, hell yeah, like, yes. We also use the Xbox for, you know, as a, as a control interface for nanorobots. We're just submitting a paper uh, about using, um, you know, using brain-machine brain interfaces to control nanobots inside a living animal, depending on what you think. We have amazing results on that. We're, we're writing the paper right now. As a designers, we're just, you know, we say, let's build something and see if it works. That's our approach, the jumping off a cliff approach. If you tell someone, there's nothing you can't do, there's nothing you can't, eventually they'll, they'll realize, oh, yeah, I can do everything, I, I can do anything I want.